Welcome back everybody, Matt the Man here. Uh, then we got some news yesterday that Netflix is making a live action movie new uh, series. Now, this is interesting on many, 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 many levels. Number one, Warner Brothers has the rights to Scooby Doo, so I don't get why HBO Max wouldn't be doing their own live action Scooby Doo TV series. But Netflix is going to be doing it. Uh, number two, um, I know Warner Brothers have had the mess up with the show Velma isn't very good, and even that Scooby Doo movie, that animated movie, came out in 2020 that was supposed to go to theaters because of the pandemic and got bumped to streaming instead. I watched some of that movie, about half of it. I thought it was alright. Um, now, I, when it comes to Scooby Doo, I wasn't the biggest fan of growing up watching the animated TV series, you know. Scooby Doo, me do, where are you? We got some things to do now. And I watched a couple episodes here and there. I know some of my friends were very, very, very into Scooby Doo back in the day. Um, I was more of a fan of the live action movie that came out in 2002, in the summer of 2002, with Freddie Prince Jr., Sarah Michelle Gellar, Linda Cardellini, and Matthew Lillard. Um, and then Snoomy was all CGI. And it looked really good. Um, I, you know, I was a fan of that film. And to the point that I remember going to see it, I bought the DVD when it came out. My dad and I made Snoomy New on the beach that summer. Um, so, and then they made a sequel two years later in 2004, which just hit the 20th anniversary at the end of March of last month. And I remember seeing that with my friend for his birthday, uh, Reeves. That's what he decided to do for his birthday. Go see Snoomy New. I think it was like Monsters Unleashed. Um, and so, and I'm surprised they never made another Snoomy New movie after that second one. I think it made money. It was pretty good. I, and like I said, I think it's a good idea. I mean, why not? You know, if the animated show on uh, HBO is not working out, why not make a live action? The live action movies were good for kids, family, friendly movies. Um, I, the cast was great. I mean, Linda Car like I said, back in the day, no one knew that Linda Carlini, the nerd, Velma, would end up growing up to be super hot. I mean, she was hot already in the movie, but you didn't realize, and then she became Hawkeye's wife in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, and then you had, like I said, Matthew Lillard, I mean, Matthew Lillard, besides playing Snoo in Scream, Matthew Lillard was born to play Shaggy in Scooby Doo. Oink! Um, now, when it comes to Netflix TV series, you know, no, like everybody right now is going, can we just bring back Freddie Prince Jr., Sarah Michelle Gellar, Linda Carlini, and Matthew Lillard and put them in this Netflix TV series? That would be wishful thinking. Probably not going to happen. Which is, that is the one bummer about this. Um, but once again, and they get the right cast for this. You know, a lot of people like their Avatar show on Netflix. A lot of people like their One Piece show on Netflix. So when they can nail Snoomy New. And, and, and also, I would love to see Snoomy New be kind of like a little darker than even the movies were. You know, bring in a little bit of that Stranger Things uh, Fear Street vibe of having those fun moments, but having some darker, chilling, eerie horror moments for Scooby Doo. You know, make the villain kind of creepy in moments. Uh, that would be fun. 
Um, I don't know how many episodes is going to be each season. It might be only, I think a show like this, you really shouldn't be more than seven or eight episodes. You're trying to find out who the murderer is. You don't need a ten episode series for that, season for that. Um, so let me know in the comments below, are you looking forward to a new Scooby-Doo? This time it is going to be live action. It's going to be a, a TV series. Are you looking for that? Let me know in the comments below. Scooby no me no. Where are you? Are we ready for your TV show? I don't really know, but we'll see. But for now, here's a Scooby snack for me.